So here we are with Dark Table Camp and we're looking at 88 Vapes Original E-Liquid Rolling Leaf Tobacco uh, 11 milligram this and of course this is a, a box of four because I get this quite a lot to use in the pipe uh, So let's quit the way on the box As you can see, similar to the single boxes Made in England, batch numbers and all that lot on the bottom and it's a normal stop and of course that's what it looks like in the bottle there you go and I've already got that ready to go but this time I'm on the Ari's D22 uh, on the census with the E510 adapter so I'll see you back up and we'll take it for a bit hey everybody this up a bit here come on come on into the parlor come on sit down get your shoes off all that jazz Another 88 vape tobacco for you, and this time one that I use on a regular basis. It really is. I use it in my pipes, and I'm talking about rolling leaf tobacco. Now you might not be able to see that, so I'll bring it in so you can see rolling leaf tobacco. Um, when you sit, when you say rolling leaf tobacco, when you think of hand rolling tobacco and uh, sort of Virginias and that sort of thing. Um, anyway, I've got that in the Aries. D22 on the uh, census at 13.5 watts. Um, this I can tell you is not like Amberleaf or uh, Old Alburn or anything like that. This is more like, um, because I know this, this one very well, it's more like a rough cut shag tobacco for a pipe. It really is, and that's why I have it in the pipe. Um, so, tell you what, without further ado, let's have a two. Yeah, he, he, I'm just going to open that airflow a little bit more. I've got it on one of the smaller holes. Um, just, just pop that off. Just flick it across. There we go. Um, right away, you can tell it's, it's a, a pipe type tobacco. It's, it's not um, an hand rolling one. So I'll tell me to. Let's sit back and have plenty of toots on it. This is this is definitely my favourite for in the pipe. Um, if I can't get a net tobacco, um, and as you can see, I buy these in in bulk, basically packs of four and what have you. In fact, it's in the pipe now with the pipes behind me somewhere. Um, yeah, I really like this one because it is definitely like a rough cut shag tobacco, um, like the stuff I used to get. Uh, a tobacconist um, so I, I really enjoy this I really do now this doesn't have a chocolate taste to it doesn't really have a nutty taste to it either maybe a slight pecan type nutty taste right at the end of the vape but that's about it it's not really got a nut taste to it Really, really tastes like that leaf tobacco was being shredded, rough cut, and and dried out. And as I say, this is oh, bag mini. As I say, uh, this is my favourite for in the in the pipe. Definitely not an unrolling tobacco. It, it really isn't. It's not an unrolling tobacco at all. It's definitely a pipe type tobacco, but it's quite nice. It really is. Yeah, a few toots on this on the evening in the pipe is quite relaxing, believe it or not. And if you've ever seen the live show, you'll see me pick up the pipe every now and then and have a couple of toots. This is what I have in it when I don't have any net tobaccos in there. Anyway, guys, that's it. I really enjoy this one. I really like this one. I buy it a lot. Um, that's it for the, <laughs> the review. And if you like what you've seen, Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it, so you know when I'm next uploaded. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.